void, void. So do I need to do clone? Why does it... Oh. This returns void. So perhaps I just need to run... Uh, that. And then squares. And then equals like this. Square cannot be caused to comparable. Is an unnamed module of app blah 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 count run make ascending so it cannot be comparable this is a trickier problem than i expected to compare to uh, arrays in java array of arrays of objects so let's do it the iteration way then or uh, square square Square, square, squares. So the length is the same now. We only have to compare it from one side. In squares. And then four square. Correct square in correct squares. Uh, We are gonna get a length times length or like length squared amount of comparisons here. Is there like an in operation? in java in array operation java java check if array contains value Contains. Okay, perfect. Boolean assert correct squares equals true. 
going about this funky. What do you mean? Assert correct square is true. Or square. Correct squares dot com tains. Ah, okay. Erase as list correct squares dot contains square and if this is not true then assert correct squares equals false. So it will flag it as false if one of these are, like if it, the correct squares does not contain whatever square we had. You're making the types concurrent, but giving the ability to use XYZ as values or use the address so you can do reading and writing without copying or referencing. <laughs> mm. so what then the problem is that you don't have a lock on them since you have concurrency is that is that it it's already refined okay test square Assert true Oops Be right back Right, I'm back. So, the funky part is I can legit just do uh, point x f64 y f64 c f64 so I can easily save them but use as pointer for heavier operations. Hmm, interesting.
This is, I think, passing. Let's give it some... F just try to fail it once. Like this. And then we can remove the length uh, check. True, got false. Yeah. Good. So it works. Board. Yeah. So what did we actually achieve with this? Sent a snippet in the Discord. Cool. I'll uh, check it out. Interesting. This is uh, not fully understanding what's going on there, but uh, <laughs> I'll look it down into it in more details later. I hope you're fine that I show it on uh, on the stream, by the way. Maybe next time I can open it uh, off stream. Things. It's wild. So, uh, no, I don't know. I don't care. Okay. I have never written any Rust C really before a week or two ago. That's cool. That's uh, really cool. So what did we achieve? Get neighbors. Yeah. We can actually get neighbors off a square now. Um, I want to add another test for it. So basically copy. Zero, zero. And now I want to do uh, What is it? It's position. It really clicked. I'm very fortunate. Python is never, for example. Okay. It's going to be position one, one, and I expect it to be returned. On one, and then I just want to do one, one. This should return, uh, this should fail. Yeah. So this should become longer now. This should be eight long. One, zero, one, two, three, four, five. It's a lot of code duplication here. Seven. And then we're going to have everything around it. So zero, uh, zero, zero. No, uh, one, zero. And two, zero. And then one, one. And then two, two, two. The bottom row and this one, one. We're going to have zero and two because we're not going to have itself. And then here, zero, one, two. That should be everything around it. So what happens now? This should pass. And it does. 
Perfect. So we now have uh, get neighbors of square working, including uh, tests. So where does that leave us? Pawn test for next step towards enemy. So we can probably build that out now. Bookmarks. Delete. Path to closest enemy. Scan paths. Find all squares around the end square of the path. Get last square. Get neighbors. So it's actually going to be... End square dot get board dot get neighbors of square. So now we could fill this in. Awesome. Ah, it's not returning. Yeah, this shouldn't be a linked list. Let's just make it into an array. Hmm. So now we only have two reds to take care of here. Square not in other paths contains an enemy. Searched square. I guess we also need to give the paths. Paths. Create method square, not in other paths. In pawn. Should this be in the pawn? I think so. Square not in other paths. So let's create a test for that then. Should this be a path thing? No. 
let's have it on the pawn for now. So let's create a new pawn test. Create test now. At test. Void test. Square not in other paths. Rename to. No, square, test square. Not in other paths. And then. So we're going to have two paths, let's say. Path, path one equals new. So we need a board first, as usual. Board, board equals new board. Import path. New path. Of uh, board of get square at position. Zero, zero, new position. Should have just used in here, I think, for positions. It's too complicated or like it feels convoluted to do it this way. And then let's do a new path with this path and then add uh, port.get square at position zero one. New position zero one. Why is this not working? Provided square. Oh, there we go. Path square. Good. Path one. Um, and then we have path two. Can we do like some multi-line thing here just to make it a bit, uh, I don't know, prettier? No. Board, then... New position. Yeah, it makes it a bit more readable at least. Zero, zero, one. And then let's do, I don't know, two, two, and then two, one. So that would be in the corner and then up. This is in the bottom and then down. So on these squares and these squares and so if we add the square here we should get this is not in the other part so one one uh, square square equals test test square equals 
board get square at position new position one one and then let's run uh, square not in other paths assert true square not in other parts that's How do we get to, uh, we need to get to a pawn. Though. Okay, let's create a pawn. Need a player. And a pawn for that player. And then we can do, uh, we need this to have a, a reference. Pawn warrior equals new warrior. And then we just do warrior here. And then we can do warrior dot square not other paths. And then we can do test square and uh, paths, right, we need to make this into, add this to a linked list. Linked list, path, paths equals, no, and then paths.add, path one, paths.add, path two, why is this not working? Oh, equals null. Method invocation will produce null pointer exception. Why? So path. <clears throat> How did I do this in the pawn? But path. Path equals new linked list. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> and then we give paths here. Yes. So now if we run this, cannot find symbol contains an enemy oh right so we need to uh comment this out almost done with all my tests for the crucial functions before calx awesome man where do you do uh, tests in um, in rust do you have like a testing framework there, similar to what I do here with uh, JUnit, or how do you do it? <clears throat> Return null. Same file as mod as a mod. It's built in. Okay. All right, so now it's failing. No, it's still a compilation error. Say so let's return false. Square not square. 
has private access in game pawns bond. What? It's private access in game pawns bond. Okay, what if we do public? Nice, okay, so now it's failing. CFG test mod tests, use super test in function test meow, okay. Um, so let's search for path, uh, path in Paths. I hope this works with a linked list. It should, right? Yeah. And then let's iterate through uh, the squares in the path. So if we go to path, can I get squares? I think I can, right? Get all squares, yeah. Or Square, square, path dot get all squares. And then we just do if uh, searched square equals square. That means that one of the paths contains contain the square. We just do return false. So it means it's not not in other parts, meaning it is in other parts. Otherwise, if it goes through all of this without finding a false and returning, turn true. Quite simple logic. And now it's good. Cool. Uh, and let's try another one, which is basically a copy of this, but we want to do the negative test. So test square is in is in other par paths. So we have a path here, that one here, and then our test square is, let's say zero, one. So it does exist in the other one. Then this should be false. I just wanna see that it fails first. Right, at S. Yes, it's failing. Perfect. This is working. Getting ever closer to be able to use uh, Jixra's algorithm to find <laughs> the shortest path so that we can guide our pawns at the board. So, pawn. So, square not in other paths. Contains an enemy is the next thing. So, 
searched square contains an enemy. Yeah, so that's the next thing. Um, contains an enemy test. Add test void contains an square contains an enemy test. Let's copy paste this setup. I think this is an important uh, feature. How we figure out if there is uh, an enemy or not. Player, player, and then board, board, NPC, player, okay. Board is not public. Okay, so let's make it public. Where it contains an enemy test. Yeah. So I think we again need to create these so we get the references to them. We might need some get pawn at location feature that we don't have yet, but. Uh, on goblin equals new goblin npc goblin uh, pawn warrior equals new warrior player warrior And then warrior dot square contains an enemy board dot get square at position in the goblin position zero and new position zero one. This should be true. Assert true. And now we need to make this compile. Cannot find symbol. Yeah. 